The Dozen Trivia Competition is back with a rematch from two weeks ago between the experts ranked number four and on a historic six-match winning streak against the Troops following Nielsen Gate, a match in which the Troops think they should have won, which resulted in a rule change. They are back and looking for revenge. Billy Football trying to win three all-time dozen matches with three different teams. Can the experts make it a record seven consecutive wins and move to 9-2-0, or will the troops get revenge? It's the experts, it's the troops, and it all starts right now. All right, it's a dozen. Match 150, big 150 of the dozen. 33 of season two. The other night, we just had one of the greatest matches in the history of the show. Congratulations to Team Your Mom gobbling up all five remaining points in the last two rounds to win 11 to 10 over Uptown Balls in one of the most tragic collapses in the history of the show. Uh, great match. And now we have a rematch from two weeks ago. Uh, we will talk about the brand new rule inspired by uh, the last match. We'll see if the troops can get some revenge. But first, a word from our sponsor. This match of the dozen brought to you, folks, by Black Rifle Coffee Company. That is right, folks, Black Rifle Coffee. It's also, by the way, I'm recording this very early in the morning. So coffee, very much on my mind. Uh, Veteran-owned coffee company serving premium coffee to people who love America and coffee. Uh, they import their high-quality coffee beans from all over the world, too. Roast five days a week at their facilities in Manchester, Tennessee, Salt Lake City. Uh, the team at Black Rifle Coffee is continually researching and experimenting with new roasting methods and coffee origins. The best way to enjoy Black Rifle Coffee, however, is by joining the coffee club. You pick your perfect roast, how much and when you want it delivered to your door. They take care of the rest. Free to sign up. You get free shipping. Always nice. Discounts, partner brands, and early access to new products and club exclusives. Go to Black Rifle Coffee, B L A C K, Rifle, R I F A L E, Coffee, like the word coffee, C O F F E E, dot com slash dozen, and use code dozen today and get the freshest coffee in America shipped to you. It's right by my desk, so I'm just going to go drink it now. But you can go to blackriflecoffee.com slash dozen and make sure you have it the next time you need it. In the morning, afternoon, night, whenever that may be. Black Rifle Coffee, the sponsor of this week's The Dozen Trivia Competition. All right, Billy, you now have a rule named after you. It's the Billy Football Rule. Nice. Uh, it doesn't mean you retroactively get a win, but it does mean that if the same thing happens, you would get a point. Uh, now the final answer person, chaps, can just say final answer to anything that their teammates say. That goes for all teams, but that is the new rule. Billy, are you satisfied with the rule change? Yeah, it just proves that we won last time, but we won everyone <laughs> else's hearts, maybe not on paper. You actually, honestly, you were ranked ahead of every other team that has played and is not in the tournament field. You're ranked 16. You're one spot out of the playoffs <laughs> and one just after playing one match. So it helped your cause, if anything. Except the win would have probably put you in, but uh, I digress. PFT, yes, you you are you have your hand raised. Yeah, I feel like the the rule should be named after Uncle Chaps, not after Billy Football. I know I know Billy outranks Chaps, but I feel like the the actual impetus for the rule was that Billy said the correct answer, and Chaps' ears and mouth messed up the right answer. It seems like it's unusual to name it after Billy. That's all. Uh, Ch Chaps, do you want to file a motion to call it the Uncle Chaps rule? Absolutely not. I like I like the Billy football rule because he got it right. If anything, it could be uh, maybe the taken rule because of Liam Nielsen. Nielsen I'm, I'm on I'm on <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> I vote. Let's just call the Liam Nielsen the Liam Nielsen. Yeah, the, Liam Nielsen the Liam Nielsen rule. Imagine yeah. him coming in for an interview and us explaining that to him and seeing how quickly he becomes uninterested in what we're talking about. Yeah. I give him two seconds. Two seconds before you checks out. Uh, experts, you. you are looking for your record seventh win in a row. Uh, you are tied for the most wins ever for your team, six in a row. You've never had seven, whether with Fran or without Fran. Uh, so you are going for a record. Uh, so, yeah, good luck to that. Also, Kate, uh, our, our lovely mother on Team Troops, may have to leave at some point during this match. So oh, we're going to get right into it. Sorry. <laughs> get right into it. 
Uh, also, actual troops, the man, is in the office today. Will that give a boost to the troops? We'll have to see. Up first yes. every round will be the experts ranked number four. Troops, you'll be up second. Brandon, are you final answer person this week? I am. Okay. Here we go. For seven in a row for the experts. And if the troops win, they'll be in the field of 15 as of right now. They'll be in the top 15. First category of the day or evening, depending on when you're watching, is the NBA. Okay. No doubles. 35 yeah. seconds on the clock. Here's your question for the experts. What Western Conference team is Rudy Gay currently on? I hate these. <laughs> I know you do, and that's that why I brought sick. them back this week. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know the answer, but I do know that tonight Rudy Gay is going to drop like 40 points, and then by the time <laughs> it comes out, we're going to look like idiots like you did to us with Evan Fournier. Um, I mean, I know where he's been before. I don't know if he's still there. He was there for a second. It feels like he'd be still be a spur. He could be a spur. I – Five. If you no, feel no. Spur go for it, I Three. honestly don't know. I'm going to say Spurs. Final answer. Other side. 15 seconds. I think he went back to – I think he's the Grizzly again. I have no idea. Let's say it. All right. Grizzlies, final answer. He's in Utah. Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz. Uh, no blood, though. Yeah. No blood. The troops take a one nothing lead. Very similar question. Eastern Conference. What team is Goran Dragic still currently on? Excuse me. What team is he currently on? I think he's on the Miami Heat. I'm fairly confident about that, too. Miami Heat, final yeah. answer. Other side, oh, 15 seconds. Yeah, so uh, he's not on the Heat anymore. The, ma you know? the Magic? Is he a pacer? Could be. I mean, I'm just thinking of teams that are similar to the Jazz now. <laughs> Brandon. Pacer. Pacer, final answer. PFT, you always default to the Magic. The correct answer is the Raptors. Ooh. Do I? I default to the Magic? You, yeah, I think you, you <laughs> often – so much so that you said um, you said Magic for a former Magic player last time, like one that clearly wasn't on the team. Anymore. I do think the Magic uh, was – Given as an option for like every question last week. Yeah. Uh, celebrity mashup okay, experts, will you be doubling? Double. Yes. Okay. For two yes, points sir. and a two nothing lead. Can Fran Street continue? Name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. The timer begins when the picture gets large, which is right now. Uh, is that Sly? Could be Sly. Uh, yeah, older slide. I think it's slide. I, I think it's slide. I believe it's Olivia Wilde on the inside. So, Lester Stallone, Olivia Wilde. That's our answer. Yeah. Final. So final. Yes. Yes. That is correct. Two to nothing. Unbelievable. God, God damn it, she's good. Ah. Three continues. Real good. That is now thirteen consecutive celebrity mashups by Fran. Other side to make it two to one. This is where things happened last time, I do recall. <laughs> Name the two celebrities here. Oh, well, that is oh Bill, 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 Murray Bill Murray and Oh man. And and she's um um in the wedding movie with the two entrepreneurs, she's the one who's like, I'm gonna get you. Um, oh yeah, she's the virgin. She's Isla the virgin Fisher, Fisher, right? Or Isla Yeah. Yeah, Isla Fisher. Isla Fisher and Bill Murray. Final yes. answer. Two to one. Yeah, way to go, Katie. <laughs> no yeah. steal. That's big. That's big. No steal. And you get the point. Two to one after celebrity matchup and the experts. Your double is gone, though. Used once again very wisely. Next category, Major League Baseball. Experts. 35 seconds on the clock. One player on the Red Sox won a game in both their 2004 and 2007 World Series sweeps. Who was it? Uh, could that be Wakefield? All right. When did Bronson Arroyo get traded? That's a great. That's a good one. Um, I think Lowe was gone. I think he was. Dice K was after the first one. 
I like Wakefield, kind of. Should we double dip? Five, four, um, three, double two. Step. What? Double dip. Double dip. Double dip. Double, double dip. What's your first guess? Uh, Tim Wakefield. Ten seconds. Whew. Arroyo or Derek Lowe? Bronson or – up to you. Bronson Arroyo, final answer. 15 seconds, other side. Just, Derek Lowe. Derek Lowe. I don't think that's right. I think it's though. I think it's Josh Beckett. I like that too. <laughs> what do you think, Billy? Five. Josh Beckett? Jose. Four. Jo- Three. Josh Whatever Beckett, Beckett final answer. Nobody said this Damn. person's name. It's Kurt Schilling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going oh, by shit. seven. I did too. If if so, if Brandon had said Kurt Schilling, I would have been like, no, he was out of there by seven. Yeah. I thought he was Who developing won? video games in 2007. <laughs> Whoever yeah. knew he was a Red Sox. <laughs> he, he, he was de- developing video games very quickly and very quickly did that end. Um, other side to make it two to two. One player on the Cardinals won a game in both their 2006 and 2011 World Series wins. Who was it? I think it's Mark Wire. Mulder. That's one of the games that has to be a pitcher. I think it's Mark Mulder. Any guesses from you guys? Obviously no. <laughs> Mark Mulder, final answer. 15 seconds. Wainwright, right? Wainwright? Wainwright? All right. Wainwright was a reliever in 06, I think, but I think he might have like won a game. Um, I it, think it's Wainwright. Was it Carpenter? Four. Okay. Go Wainwright. Three. Go Wainwright. I don't want Wainwright. Final answer. Waino was out for the season. It was Chris Carpenter. God damn it. Oh. Two to one. Losers. Music. This is for the experts. Music. Should have had that one. 35 seconds. Got to say it with my chest. Jason Mraz's 2008 album, We Sing, We Dance, We Steal Things, has two songs with over 400 million Spotify plays. I'm yours, and what's the other song? Oh, we've never had a Mraz question. Fun fact. <laughs> never going to be able to think of any other song besides I'm yours. Isn't that it? That's I'm yours. That's, oh, that's the song listed. Trying to be so cool, but you're so hot that I melted. That's He's a hat song. guy. Wait, does he have any songs about hats? Probably. My 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 cute little boy hat by Jason Mraz. Five. Five. I have, I got nothing. Say, no, uh, no. I, I, I love you. Think I love you. I love you. On the other side. The song yeah. is like I won't give up. On you. What's that song called? No. I won't give up. I think that's what it's called. Okay. No, that that's no. It's something about like a girl, like a girlfriend. I actually do know it's five. Sing the oh, tune. I won't give no, up. I mean, Final answer. I actually think Brandon and PFT were singing the song I was looking for. It's a song called Lucky. Mm. You were singing, I think, I the know, song. I, you were I was just combining like yours. Them. Okay. Damn. No, I think Say this sounds do, Run, run, dance, ba, da, da, ba, ba. I tried to be cool, but you're so hot that I melted. Can you scat the FD? Yeah. Yeah. That's not yours, is it? Okay. Yeah, well, that's it's, like lucky, it's like the lucky I'm in love, whatever. So, okay. Other side, they make it two to two. Still oh, lucky I'm in love with my, yeah. with my best friend. Uh, lucky I'm in love. Oh, yep, yep. I locked it. Damn. Truth, you can tie it up two yeah. to two. Nelly Furtado's 2006 Loose has two songs over 200 million Spotify plays. Maneater and what other song? I'm like a bird. I only fly away. Is that it? That What's that song called? Is it Loose? Like, like a bird? Is that it, do you think, Billy? Like a bird? I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> like a bird, final answer. Oh, 15 oh. seconds. I've got nothing. No. The the questions no, with not. both with a song and then guess the other song are so hard because the the I the, it's only the one song that I can let's think. Do, of. Let's do because Manny describes a woman and so does loose. So let's say loose. Final answer. Yeah. Promiscuous. 
Oh, oh promiscuous. Oh, nice. that's My promiscuous. Promiscuous boy. It's a song you know, yeah. yeah. Well, a loose man eater would be promiscuous. Movies. Movies. Damn. Two to one still. Damn. This is bloodbath. Experts this is defense following Barbosa in the first movie, this CGI-infused character became the Pirate of the Caribbean franchise's new lead villain. I've never seen it's those the, movies. It's the guy with the beard. The, um, uh, beard. the tentacle beard. Uh, is he is he a kraken? I, I I just don't know. Yeah, I I know who you're talking about. He's got the. Well, what does he have? Another name besides Billy that? Knows it. Octobeard. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that mean he had eight beards? <laughs> um, hmm. Octomom, remember her? Oh, he yeah, did answer yeah, for yeah, five. I, can't four, 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 I think we just got to go with Kraken. Two, six, six, Kraken. Kraken. Incorrect. Billy? Davy no. Jones. Davy oh. Jones, final end. Davy Jones did release the Kraken. He was the lead villain, two to two. All right. By Bill Nye. Other sides take a three to two lead. Before the Joker's debut, this mask-wearing character was a co-villain alongside Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins. Got it. Oh, um, it wasn't it. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Scarecrow. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was our turn. Scarecrow. Okay, Scarecrow, final answer. Three to two troops. That is correct. We're yeah, also that's Jonathan okay. Crane. Already to the niche category round. Because of the new niche rules, not all, no longer three things are wrestling. We had WCW, Ska Music. Which PFT already knows that's not going to be it because he didn't see me tweet out. All right, ska music fans, hit the DMs last night. Uh, it's Jonas Brothers is the one they picked, the third option. All right. Second Ew. time for Fran, Jonas Brothers. Coward. <laughs> uh, here we go. Jonas Brothers, 35 seconds. Name this Jonas Brothers song based on the lyrics. I'm trying to keep the lights from going out and the clouds from ripping out my broken heart. What song is that? Is that us? No. And this oh. is for the experts. Mm. Dumbass. Uh-uh, Brandon, we don't name call. Mm -hmm. This is cake. I'll I stay over here. here. 15 seconds, friend. You want us to sing it? Maybe PFT can harmonize. I'm trying to keep the lights from going out. Ugh. And the clouds were ripping out. Oh, but that doesn't rhyme at all. Five, four. Pushing me three. away. I don't know. Pushing me away. Fine. Other side. A little bit longer. Uh, do you know that? Yeah. It's a little bit longer is the name of the song. A little bit longer. And uh, uh, five, four. Can we use yeah, our phone, a friend? You cannot. One. A little bit longer. Final answer. It is a song with Miley Cyrus before the storm. Before oh. the storm. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Other side. You offered up. He's changed last second. I forgot. One of them is Wawa. One of them is Herpetology. And the other one is Chaps. I'm going to remember it. Tools. Tools. Fuck. Uh, they picked Wawa, which I I'm not an expert in, but I know a lot. So I enjoyed writing this question. Wawa for two points to make a five to two we, lead for the troops. We picked her pathology. Uh, I overruled. He overruled you. Drama. Wow. Here we go. Brandon Coward Walker. With a different type of bread and varieties such as spicy cheesesteak and spicy Italian, Wawa introduced this sandwich line in 2018. What was the name of the line of sandwiches? The name of the line of sandwiches. Spicy? I mean, it's got to be something spicy specific. So maybe like hot subs? Yeah. They wouldn't call them subs, though. Spicy bread. Hot hoagies? Um, fa fa. I don't know. Oh my God. Spicy. Five. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Three. I'm going to go hot, hot hoagies. hoagies. 
<laughs> I, I like the effort of hot hoagies. That is incorrect. Other side, 15 seconds. So, so the bread is a clue. Could it be a flatbread? Oh, yeah, could be. Just a flatbread? Just a flat? flat bread? Yeah, I don't know. Five. Yeah. We're going to say, we're gonna say flat, the, yeah, their flat bread line. Their flat line. I actually didn't like it. It was their sourdough melts. Their sourdough oh, yeah, melts. That was fantastic reasoning by you guys. Expert, well, your, yeah. worst, yeah. your worst first half performance in a long time. Two We're points. Fine. Bonus front time is PFD drives to fix his internet. Uh, 20 things on the board today. The theme of the bonus round. Yeah! The theme I'm of the dabbled. bonus round. I'm gonna I will PFD. know. You have to be specific. You have to be specific. If this was soda, for Here. example, okay. you would have to say Diet Coke, Coca-Cola, right. Coke. You... You can't just say the brand. You will have to specifically okay. tell me the beer. So if you give me an answer that's close, I will say be more specific. Just ahead. Okay. And you will have time to be more specific as well. Here's the question. Experts, you're up first every time. So remember that, troops. You're up three to two. Okay. Name Drizzly's top 20 selling beers to date so far in 2021. PFT. Bud Light. Bud Light. Final answer. Miller Light, final answer. Coors Light. Oh, Coors Light. Coors Light. Corona. Mm, now this is where this is where it starts um, getting trickier. Corona. Yeah, what Corona. about Corona? Corona, final answer. I need you to be more specific. Uh, Corona, Corona Light, final answer. Corona Light, yeah. Go. I would go with Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra. Oh, um. Oh, fuck. Can we say Budweiser? Uh, like the main beer, Budweiser? Bud Heavy. Budweiser. Budweiser. Yeah. Um, I would go with. You want to go Heineken? Uh, Heineken. Heineken, yeah. Natural is, Light? That's what I was thinking. Natural Light. Yeah, natural light. Experts, you get this. You take the two points. Uh, uh, Guinness? Uh, Sam Adams? Guinness is what I, I was going to say, Guinness. Guinness. Four to three. That is correct. Oh, you got all four. That was odd. That was like a struggle, but you went five for five. Like, that was – here's the rest of Angry Orchard, Blue Moon, Belgian Wheat, Corona Extra, and oh, Corona gosh. Premier. Ooh. Bunch of them on here. Stella's on Stella. here. PBR. PBR. Fuck, of course. And a bunch PBR. of fucking IPAs. How is Natty yeah. Light not on there? College kids, what are you doing? College kids, are, college kids don't use Drizzly. Don't use Drizzly. Yeah, are they really oh. Drizzly? Yeah. yeah. That's why uh, it's bullshit. Four to three experts. They check IDs on, on Drizzly. So Angry Orchard getting thrown in as a beer is wild. Yeah. Agreed. That's cider. How four to that? three. Okay. College football next category. Brandon, you can't double. Here's the question. Up four to three. Troops, you have all your lifelines. Keep that in mind. Two current Big 12 schools have players in the top 15 for all-time career rushing yards. Name them. Okay. I, I would think it would be Oklahoma State is one. Because um, of Barry Sanders, but he only had the one mat massive year. Texas also, is definitely one because Cedric Benson still holds the, the record for vote rushing yards. So Texas is one. If you like Oklahoma State, I don't mind it. Who else could it be? Do I got 60 seconds or 30? Uh, 65 seconds. It's two answers. I okay, should have said that. Right, Texas is one that I'm going with. So am I going Baylor, Texas Tech, Kansas State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Iowa State? No. TCU, Ladanian? No. L they had LT and I feel like with Oklahoma, their guys, they, they leave too early to be all-time career rushing yards. Yeah, and Adrian Peterson got hurt. Reminder, you only have your State? phone, a friend. Yeah, but who would it be? I don't know. I'm just throwing names out. 
Brandon, I do need something soon. I need two answers in. Five, four, three, Texas two. Oklahoma State. Other side, 35 seconds for a steal. All right. We, can we double dip? You cannot on a steal. No. Um, I, think it's, I think it's Texas, and I think it is TCU. Really? But Who's I don't know who the Russian? second person would be behind LaDainian Tomlinson. Um, yeah, let's go with Texas and TCU, final answer. That is four to four and correct. Yes. Ricky Williams, Cedric Benson, yes. and LaDainian Tomlinson to take a five to four lead. Two current Pac-12 schools have players in the top ten for all-time career rushing yards. Name them. We're up. That is correct. Uh, I want to say USC. Did Red? Yeah, you would have Reggie Bush, but Reggie Bush left after a ju as oh, yeah. a junior. Um, Christian McCaffrey. Stanford. Is it Stanford? Stanford. That's um, one of them. Oregon you both said it. Oregon, but Oregon? running backs. What, who do they have? Colorado. They have um, I think it's Colorado because Rashawn Salam, and then they oh, recently yeah. had a dude. It's going to be, uh, let's go USC and Colorado. Final answer. 35 Damn, seconds. Michael, Take the lead back. Oregon, Oregon I like Stanford. Sure right. With Michael James. Um, yeah, it was, yeah. It, is oh, it not fuck. Stanford? You like Oregon and USC? I, I think I might like Stanford. You know, they've been so close with McCaffrey and Gerhardt and Bryce Love. They, it, it would stand the reason they'd have one in there, right? Yeah, yeah. I like Oregon, though. I, I think when Michael James is in there. Okay. You want to go Oregon-Stanford? Oregon-Stanford, final answer. Talk yourself right off the answer. Oregon and USC was the correct answer. Oh, but idiots. Like, and it, not LaMichael James, <laughs> Royce Freeman. LaMichael uh, James was Snoop Dogg's guy. That's why I knew it was Oregon. Yeah. I thought I really had now something Frank is outside Salon. taunting Brandon. <laughs> Four to four. Next category is television. Television. This is for the experts. Dave Hester, Barry Weiss, and Daryl Sheets have all been personalities in what A&E reality series that debuted in 2010? Okay. Uh, A&E? Like, what the oh, fuck is... is is uh uh A and E Pawn Stars um um first forty eight MythBusters thing. yeah but first forty eight doesn't really have anybody that's that is, was Duck Dynasty on A and E uh, or yeah but Weiss is a Jewish Five, thing. Know Duck Dynasty guy. four three two Pawn Stars other side why am I thinking Storage Wars yeah, why storage do I think wars. Storage Wars, wars right Storage Wars, final answer. Five to four at Storage yeah, Wars. Hey, hey guys, I got to go, but I wish you the best of luck. Oh, what a walk off. No, you can't leave. Thank you for giving us a answer. All right, troops down to two people, but they're up five to four, and they can take a six to four lead, and they have their double still. Actually, all of their lifelines. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. You do have to double, chaps. Keep that in mind. You have to use it. How many rounds we got left? Uh, after this, you'll have four rounds left. Call the dozen. Okay. <laughs> Karamo Brown and Tony Porowski and Bobby Burke have all impersonalities in what Netflix reality series reboot that debuted in 2018. I fucking love Storage Wars. Um, love that show. Oh. It's, um, it's the Queer Eye. Yeah, it's Queer Eye, oh, final answer. Yeah. That is correct. Six to four. Four rounds left, chap. Keep that in mind. You must double. Expert, you have your phone a friend. You have all your lifelines troops. Food is the next category. Food. Food. This is for the experts. Partially named after its country of origin, this is a small baked pastry colored yellow with turmeric and usually filled with ground beef. Is that an empanada? No. Papusa? No, it's not Pusa. Colored yellow. Um, it 
15 seconds. B- Bavarian. Oh, no, this is, I, I don't. Go ahead. I don't Five, know. four, three, two, one. It's, I think it's a Jamaican patty. Is that what it's called, though? Jamaican patty? Yeah, it's a Jamaican patty or Jamaican burger. I think it's Jamaican patty. All right, Jamaican patty, final answer. 7 4, that is correct. Yeah, Jamaican way to patty. go, Billy. Billy love they're, they're on fire right now. Uh, yeah, you go to 7 Eleven, get a Jamaican patty. Yes, Brandon. Experts request a uh, 30 second timeout. <laughs> okay. No, we're about okay. to shit pump you like we should have last time. I got a timeout. I got a timeout. <laughs> yeah, you do. You haven't used one in a long time. All right, guys. Sometimes it's not our day. We've, we've all, <laughs> outside of Fran, we've all been awful. We got to grind. Right. We, we just got to work through this. All right. Sometimes, even the best shooters, Kobe has them six for 28 nights, okay? But in the fourth quarter, he was hitting shots. That's all I'm saying. Next Let's one's going shots. on. Let's hit shots. You're Five down minutes. three. You're down three. Keep in mind, though, the troops have a double on the board as well. So there's an extra point out there. This is for the troops to take an eight to four lead. Popular in the South, notably Virginia. This is a custard pie made with eggs, butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, and cornmeal. Isn't that just... No, is that our turn? Correct. Yeah. Oh. Um, custard pie. Isn't that just oh. cute? I think it's called... Isn't it called egg pudding? Oh. Um, custard pie. I, Ten seconds, chaps. Isn't it just key lime pie? No, it's definitely not key lime pie. Um, oh, okay. Five, four, oh, no, three, I know what this is called. two, chaps. Egg pudding, final answer. 15 no, seconds. No. Is that bread no, pudding? It, I, I don't know I if re-steal? it's a custard pie. Can oh, I re-steal? Because I think I just remember. Shut up! No. It, it sounds like bread pudding to me. Um, but bread pudding, I don't know if I've had it in like a handheld also, pie that. format. I don't think bread pudding is southern. I, bread pudding, final bread answer. Pudding. That'll be chess pie. Chess pie. Delicious. I'm not, I'm not fat enough. Delicious. Never heard of that. Milk bar makes a very good variation of that. Okay. The milk bar pie. Uh, down three, though. You didn't lose another point there. Three categories left. Chaps, again, I want to remind you, you have to use you I got it, Jeff. Life I line. understand. We got, we got a system. Yep. NFL is the next category. NFL. This is for the experts who have their phone a friend. 65 seconds. Since 2010, what two franchises have gone to the Super Bowl and not scored a touchdown? Okay, I got one. Yeah. Uh, what? I didn't even know who it is because obviously one. Okay, one's the Rams. The Rams. The Rams yeah. is, right. is the one that I have. Um, hmm. Okay, hold on. Go the Broncos. The Broncos, right? No, they had they scored. It was forty three to eight. Did they have two? They have safety and two field goals. They didn't get a. No, they didn't get a safety. The, the Seahawks got the safety. Forty three to eight. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Who's won the Super Bowl? Thirty seconds. Did the, did the Panthers get a, Panthers? Did the Panthers? Did the Panthers get a touchdown? Against the Broncos. Yeah. They might not have. I don't remember the score of that one. I don't either. Ten seconds. Who's the first one? The Rams? The Rams. Yeah, something in. Five, four, three. The Rams and the Panthers. Other side. The other side, 35 seconds. This is exhausting. I think All right, it's so the Rams, Rams for game. sure. I don't think – I don't think they scored a touchdown against the Seahawks. I don't think they did either. Because it was an absolute shit pumping. It started with the safety and it was just an absolute blowout. Well, let's go with that then. Yeah. So Denver and and the the Rams. Rams. All you have to do is think back to last year. It's the Rams and the Chiefs. The Rams and the Chiefs. Three field goals. Other side to make it eight to four. NFL. Since 2010, what two franchises have gone to the Super Bowl and scored over 40 points in a game? I got this one. <laughs> yep. That one's... Uh, 
Isn't that the Broncos? I got one. Well, I think it's the Seahawks because they put up, I think, an insane amount of points against the Broncos. Okay, so you want to go? I think we go Seahawks and Denver. Yeah. No, never. Wait. What was how many did the Bucks score last year? Let's go, Bucks Seahawks. You think Patriots. Fifteen seconds. Patriots. Bucks. Let's go. Let's go. Seahawks. Fuck. No Patriots. We'll go, go Patriots. Did the Bucks get four. over forty? Seahawks. Three. Two. Patriots, I think Seahawks. so. Let's go. Bucks Seahawks. Final answer. Bucks Seahawks. All right, let's go. Seahawks Eagles. Seahawks Eagles. Yep. Uh, Seahawks Eagles final answer. Let's fucking go. Uh oh. Comeback happening. Maybe seven to five. All right, here we go. We're all you giving the final on. score of the game in your previous question was <laughs> it's, it's tough yeah. to watch you do that. Um, didn't hurt you though. Seven to five, down to five points remaining. Chaps, if you don't double this, you got to double the last one. This is U.S. history. Oh, okay, here we go. Do you want to double this one? Yeah, we'll double this one when it's our turn. Do we know what the last one is? Chaps, you have to say it before yeah. the category starts. Yeah. So are you going to double? Okay. Yeah. This is worth two points. Yes. The final. Uh, you do not know the final one until. Okay. The, uh, chaps, you also cannot use your double dip or your phone a friend for this one. Okay. Because it's doubled. Here we go. For one point. This is for the experts. Put these Supreme Court justices in order of appointment. Antonin Scalia, Sandra Day O'Connor, and Anthony Kennedy. 35 seconds for this one. I wanted. I want to say, Sandra Day O'Connor, yeah. uh -huh. Kennedy, Scalia. That's exactly what I would have said. I said that. I'm good with it. Y'all good with it? Go Seconds. It. That if that was Scalia both of your most, first thoughts. Uh, we're gonna go O'Connor, Kennedy, Scalia. O'Connor, Kennedy, Scalia. Final answer. Yes. I hate you. Fuck. It's, Scalia, Scalia it's Kennedy, O'Connor, Scalia. Final, final answer. Yeah. Sorry, say it again. There's just like I, I got distracted. Kennedy, O'Connor, Scalia. Final answer. Incorrect. Could have been a what huge was? deal. Wasn't O'Connor, Scalia? Scalia, Kennedy. Oh shit. Other side for two points. You get this. You win the game. Simple as that. If not, could be tied. Put these Supreme Court justices in order of appointment. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Clarence Thomas, Stephen Breyer. Um, Stephen Breyer, when was he appointed? I think it's Breyer, Ginsburg, Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we'll go with. Breyer, yeah. Ginsburg, Thomas, final answer. All right. Okay. Thomas for the time, fifteen seconds. When was Breyer? What did they say? Tom, I know Thomas was Bush. Ginsburg was uh, was was Clinton. So where is Breyer? So the beginning or the end? So then, so then uh, they said Breyer. What did they say? They said Breyer, uh, Ginsburg, Thomas. Right. I think that uh, it's, uh, we're gonna go Breyer, Bri Thomas, Breyer, Ginsburg. Thomas Ginsburg, Breyer, Thomas Ginsburg. Uh, Incorrect. Yes. Thomas Ginsburg Breyer. <laughs> he where'd he go? Oh, he, he walked out. He's just he, yeah. Uh, Clarence Thomas was 1991. Stephen Breyer was. I'm now just you. These were so wrong. I'm like literally mid game fact checking. Uh, Breyer was 94, uh, and Bader Ginsburg was was in between. <laughs> Brandon left the building. Guess what, though? Experts, you're still alive. Two uh, points left. You're down by two. The last category is uniform uh, scramble. You're going to see a word oh that's made God. up of parts of a, of, a, of sports uniforms from the big four sports. Uh, the worst category that we do on this oh, show. Oh, fucking relax. you got to name all four teams. You have 35, uh, excuse me, 65 seconds. I don't know 65 how to... seconds. 
This is for the experts. You get this, you're alive. Name the four teams represented here. Okay. Um, Phoenix. That's the Suns. The, yes. one, the one on Pirates. the right is Pirates. the Padres. Oh, is that I think Padres? It's the Padres. Oh, Padres. Uh, wait, is that Brown or is that? I think that's the Pirates. You think it's the Padres? Okay. Are we? Yeah, we, we, Pirates. Pirates. we Pirates. We're fucked. All I right. think it's Padres. I think it's Padres, actually. What's the. Is that A, Patriots? Or. Texans, <laughs> Fuck. Well, the C I have, I just, I couldn't. Well, that's basketball. Okay, we got uh, basketball, basketball baseball. Let's say that's basketball, football, baseball. So what let's would the first be? So Canucks? Are they blue? They're not, are they blue? I mean, that's like denim. Yeah, they got blue. What the fuck is that? 10 seconds. All right, we're going to go Canucks, Suns. I don't think that's, is that a Patriot? I'd say uh, Canucks, Suns, Patriots, Padres. Congratulations, Truth. Streak is over. <laughs> Other side, you have a guess. You guys won the game, but. All right. Is so it Canadians? I, I think it's Houston is Phoenix. P is Pittsburgh. The A is from the, I think it's from the Rangers, the New York Rangers. Yeah. And I think the C is the, the Canadians, the blue hockey team. The what's blue? Which one? I don't think it's no, hockey. So we have hockey. It's oh. got to be. It's got to be. No hockey. It's got to be. Maple Leafs don't have a fucking C in their name. <laughs> I just can't believe this is happening. Oh, the How did we lose to five? Four. I need it's four teams, Jeff. And the White Sox. <laughs> you named like. I, I, I hate it here. I hate it. I'm leaving. No, you're not. Do not close your computer. <laughs> He's leaving. I, all right. I. Yeah, I, I <laughs> The Cowboys, the Cowboys. That's the Cowboys. It's bullshit. That's the Cowboys. But that I nailed the Rangers. Oh, other side. Oh, funny. Oh, that's definitely San Francisco the, Giants. Oilers. Um, the, the R is the, the Oilers. The A is the Charlotte Hornets. Or the Titans. I think the A is the Titans. Oh, the Titans. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is A there. In. The end, I think, is the Nets. Yeah, the Brooklyn Nets. The yeah. R. That's a crazy looking R. That's a, the Oilers. That's a, I, the Oilers. Oh, yeah. Oilers. Good job. Yeah. So, Giants, Oilers, Titans, Titans, Nets. And what was the end? Nets. They Nets. got it right. Final answer. Right. Yeah, right. baby. Four, eight to five. Can we run up the score on them? Can we, like, sh like. Oh, the score's over, over you dumb fuck. Really? You're done. All you're right, done. You're, 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 you're you're just over. You'll never be that close again. You were right, Brandon. <laughs> it's not that close again. Oh yeah, uh, two and zero. The people who said guys. I disrespected the troops. I hope you're. I mean, all right, they won. There you go, Brandon. Uh, I'll since you left, I'll let you th thoughts. You only got two. You only got two questions right. I don't know how many questions I got right. You fucking cunt. Okay, listen. Uh, oh, we whoa. don't say a c word. Shut That's up. Okay, here's the thing. We don't say shut up either. Oh, oh. I, w I was confused by the college football question. I thought each school had two players that were in the all, top 15. Listen, no, all I didn't say that. I don't see any night. We had a shitty night. I was awful. Bro. I was awful. I was awful. Reading comprehension, I was bad. Bro. I was bad, too. We were bad. We were bad. It's, it's fine. Bad day. Bury the tape. Why don't we watch the tape of this? For improvement, too. Don't let's not forget. That by the way, Kate, Isla Fisher, and Storage Wars. Oh, that yeah. music category was we should have gotten those ones. I'd also just like to say that congratulations to us for giving a victory to the troops. <laughs> it's, it's about it's time. The least we could do, <laughs> but it's been a while. True. Thank you for your service. Enjoy this victory. <laughs> um, you you, Billy. It's salute to service month. It's that's right. Brandon, you called out a lot of people in the office this week. Oh, who cares? I call people out all the time. Who do I, who do I have next? But who do you want to – but who – you called out Vibs and Nate, though you seem less no, interested. No, no, in no, 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 no. I didn't call out Nate at all. I was calling out Vibs, and Nate went, call me out too? No, that was <laughs> Nate's fucking name. That was him trying to grab some attention. I called out – no, Vibs called me out, and I agreed. I don't ever want to play Nate ever. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so you will be playing next week. Gen XYZ. 
know what the other match will be. Uh, troops, next time you're on, though, you'll play a team other than the experts. Uh, you did snap their streak. Uh, oh, in fairness, in fairness, if we're just being honest, I mean, we should get our rematch. We gave them a rematch. We should get a rematch as well. That's just... Well, in my book, in my book, we're two and zero. Oh, so if you want to do, best you're not two and zero, though, Billy. You're not. You're not two. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's book actually counts. <laughs>